How's it going, you guys? The New Age here, your coach of the Allo Valley Agrons, and we are in our week four battle of the WPA, the World Pokemon Association. And this week we're up against Paul, and I believe it's the Tampa Bay Frograders. Uh, I don't know why I like super brain farted just now. Uh, it was like a really bad one. Uh, but anyways, anyways, we're up against them this week. Um, we did do the team builder. Their stuff and information will be down below as usual. Check them out to see their side of the battle. Other than that, um, I kind of just came back from work and I'm pretty tired. So I'm a little scatterbrained. So my commentary may not be on point, but that's okay because I feel like my brain is ready for this battle. Um, I also really pretty much like the team that we brought this week. And I'm excited to see what Paul has brought. Uh, he has an interesting draft just because he only has nine Pokemon. So I feel like I pretty much know what he's brought this week, uh, which did, I think, help me in the team prep. But uh, we'll see what happens. Be sure to leave a like, support the battle, wish us luck, all that good stuff. Let's hit the battle start button and get it going and see what he's brought. I'm always so nervous on these things. Okay, so he didn't bring the Mega Altaria, which I totally understand, and I'm cool with, and he also didn't bring Infernape. I really think he should have brought Infernape. Um, but, so he decided to bring Gardevoir instead and Heliolisk, which I totally understand. Because um, there were definitely reasons why he could have or couldn't have brought certain things. But, one of the things that I do notice right away is he doesn't have any way to get rid of Hazard, so I want to set those up as soon as possible. Uh, my next priority would probably be to get my status on what am I, but definitely uh, this is the lead I can already see. Unless he wants to lead with Gardevoir or something, I might have to switch around some stuff. Uh, but otherwise, we're just going to lead off with Pangea and call it a game. Let's do it. Let's get this battle started. And good luck, Paul. Have fun. All right. I had to, because I made this team like way at the beginning of the week and haven't touched it until then. So he actually leads with Gardevoir, which is a little scary. Um, because I'm not sure what I actually want to do against it, this thing, because it can have Taunt. And he actually traces my Sturdy, which is pretty cool. Um, so let's see. Let me see. Because we're definitely... Uh, yeah, we'll definitely die to... Oh, wait. We won't die to a Focus Blast or anything. We will die to two Focus Blasts. Uh, I don't care about Will-O-Wisp. And Gardevoir, I am most definitely sure, gets Taunt. Alright, and if I were to switch out into my Vaporeon for this... Just want to take a look at my options real quick. Uh, Vaporeon can take him on pretty well. I want to see if it has Thunderbolt. If it has Thunderbolt, we should still be able to take it on well. I'm just kind of looking at my options real quick. Um, I really want to get a burn on something too. Uh, it could be Choice Scarf. I don't want it to trick me either. Let me see. I don't know if my best play is to, just to go for like Toxic or something. He does have Sturdy. I think I'm going to go for Toxic right now. Um... Just because he still can't really knock me out with anything, and it'll be nice to break the sturdy, and I want to see what set he is. Yeah, so he does have taunt, um, which actually, that's why I was thinking about switching, uh, but that's okay. That's okay. No, taunt. Alright, so we know he has taunt, so he definitely might have Will-O-Wisp and all that stuff. Um, I could go out on Decidulif. Wolfgar might also be an option. Let's see. Because the less attacks he has, the less coverage um, I feel he would have for me. And I'm pretty sure he's not Scarfed since he went for Taunt. Um, I don't really want him to throw off a Will-O-Wisp here, but I do think that... Uh, Sigilyph might be my best bet for now. Just because, for one, if he is throwing off a Willis, that's what I want, is I want to get burned. Two, I want to feel out more of what his set is before I just switch out into things. So let's see what he goes for here. 
He does go for the Willis, and that is perfect. That's exactly what I want. We would have gotten burned anyways, so it's chill. Um, but his God of War is... Oh, my DS is going to die. Hold up. I want to catch that now before bad things happen. Ugh. All right. Um... So we're good, we're burned, so we're ready to switch in to things like, uh, we're ready to switch in to things like Tangrowth, um, and we will be faster than him. The only switch that he does have for a potential Thunder Wave, I mean, he does have Mammoth Swine, um, but we're just going to go for Thunder Wave now just to see what he wants to do, because we do outspeed him. And we did want the burn on this thing, so I want to see what other moves he has, because he can't have that many more moves. So he has Wish. Okay. Okay. This is looking good, because now it really looks like he can't touch my Alakazam. Um, and part of me really wants to go out into Alakazam. I don't know what he would go into here. Because I don't really want to go Alakazam now, because if he goes straight to his Cavalier, I can't set up a sub or anything on this. Um... Part of me actually wants to go for Cosmic Power. Because it's really looking like he can't touch me. I'm going to go for Cosmic Power. He's still staying in. I don't know what his last move is. Unless it's Shadow Ball or Thunderbolt. Then he can't really touch me. And actually, if we get set up enough here, um, then none of his team can really touch me. Unless he crits me, which that would be really unfortunate. Um, I don't care if he crits me. No, I do. I do care. There's a lot of things that I don't want to happen right here. So he does decide to go for the taunt now. Uh, that's probably what he tried to go for last turn. I don't know what his attacking move is. Um, but I'm going to go for air slash here. This is a little risky playing my, uh, Sigilift like this because I really need this for Tangrowth. Um, just to have a consistent switch in. But we'll see what he wants to do right here. Who he wants to go out to. So he does decide to go with Scavalier. Um, that thing can definitely hurt me with a knockoff. And I actually want to see what kind of damage that is. And also, look at what he could do to me. Uh, so let's see if he's Assault Vest, how much damage that would do. I feel like he is Assault Vest. Yeah, it's definitely Assault Vest damage. Because if he was not... I would have done significantly more. A decent amount more. Um, so since he is Assault Vest, Knockoff, if we're at plus two, does not do that much. But... Hmm. I actually don't think he can do anything to Pangea. And I want to see, I just want to make sure, look at what his Scavalier gets. Because if he's going for knockoff, I mean, as long as I can get, how much does he do to uh, Pangea? I'm definitely thinking about switching out into that. I know I'm running out of time. Iron Head actually does a lot. But he does not speed us. Hmm. Or do I want to just go into Grape Drink? I don't really want this to take a uh, knockoff just yet. Yeah, I'm going to go out into Pangea, set up my hazards. Um, or at least get what I can off. Especially if he, if he hits me with an Iron Head. Uh, for one, it's not going to knock me out. And two, I can counter the next turn and it'll knock him out. So, we're switching in on the expected knockoff here. Damn. That really sucks. Because Iron Head does 53 to 64. Hmm. We are faster. How does counter... Counter has negative priority, right? Because I do feel like he would stay in to try and knock me out here. Yeah, it has negative priority. Um... Or is it more important to get up my hazards? Hmm. 
Hmm. I really do like the spikes. Especially because with Iron Head, he has a chance to flinch me. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the spikes. And it would be nice if this Iron Head didn't knock me out. The only reason I'm not attacking it... Actually, I regret that now. I should've, because Iron Head would not knock me out. And, uh... Is it better to get up rocks and... Yeah, I'm gonna get up rocks and spikes. Um, I actually should've attacked him. Because, since he is Assault Vest, I can't just one-shot it without Kazam. So, that is a bit more difficult. Unfortunately. I should have realized that then. Um, actually, though, we can just go out into Conkledur and fire off uh, Fire Punch. If he wants to switch, that's fine. Uh, we will outspeed this thing, and Fire Punch most definitely will knock this out. And I don't care if he wants to switch anything into this, like... It's still gonna be a lot of damage, and now I'm fine with him switching around, because... That's just more spikes and stealth rock that he's gonna take. So we do get to revenge kill this thing with the fire punch. I actually didn't think if he was, uh... A fire berry. But, well yeah, there's no way he could've from that damage. And... It actually still would've knocked him out. So we'll see who he wants to go out into here. So he decides to go into the Gardevoir, which actually... I might be able to just knock this thing out. Because we will outspeed it. Oh, he knows that we're Iron Fist now, though. Alright, let's see. Conkledur... Versus Gardevoir. Poison Jab actually will not knock him out, so I'm not going to risk this right here. Um, and I might actually take this as an opportunity to Mega Evolve with Wolfgar. Eh. Because then I'll be burned. Grand, he doesn't have Altaria. What could he have? Greninja will still outspeed me, though. So, I will start taking the burn damage afterwards. So I don't know if I should just go Sigilyph. Because Sigilyph invites in other Pokemon that I don't really want to switch into. Like things like Heliolisk and all that. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might just go out into what am I? And save this thing for later. Because here here's my thing. I definitely have potential to like punch holes in his team. Oh, and he's leftovers too. Okay. Knock off, iron head. Um. And leftovers. Um. But there's no reason for me to just dive right into it right here. Especially if he's in this situation where I can paraflinch him. And it, um. Oh, well. And it, uh. It invites him to switch, which I'm okay with. And I actually want to see some calcs. I don't really want to put myself in the position to be crit. So I might try and double here, honestly. Because I feel like he would just switch out into maybe Mamoswine or Heliolisk. And if he does that, it'd be really cool to, uh... Because really, I feel like he has no other play. Because really, he's just in to be paraflinched right now. My thing is, who's more important, Conkledur or Excadrill? Because I'm Scarfed, so I could outspeed a non-Scarfed Heliolisk, and I can also, if he does go into Mamoswine, and go into Iron, uh, Dig Dug and Iron Head. Yeah, I'm definitely leaning more towards Dig Dug right now, because I don't know why he would stay in if he were to. And also, since he doesn't have his fairies, I think Dig Dug is the most expendable. Um, so, I'm going to expect him to double right here, either into Mamoswine or Heliolisk. Because really, I don't know what else he would do to me. I really don't. 
Alright, his Gardevoir got paralyzed, so I don't know what he tried to do right there. But that's a little unfortunate if he went for something like Will-O-Wisp. Because that would have been a really good prediction on his part. Um, but here, I most definitely knock out um, Gardevoir with Iron Head. I'm going to calc it to make sure, but... Actually, if he's bulky, if he's like max defense, he has a chance to live this. But he is also paralyzed. Um, I'm definitely going to take that risk right now. Especially if he wants to switch out, that's just fine. Because then that's just more uh, damage that his team could take. So he is going to go into the Tangrowth now. Um, and I have Sigilyph specifically for that. So I'll gladly go into that. And actually, oh, okay. I was going to say... Alright, he's Rocky Helmet. We do get a crit there. Um, dang. Let me see. I'm assuming he's defensive. Just because he had the Rocky Helmet. Iron Head with a crit. Yeah, that is about how much it did. Um, I don't think we would knock it out here. Uh, but either way, I'm not trying to risk that. I'm just going to go back out into what am I. If he wants to knock off that spine, um, I'll just roost the next turn. If he wants to sleep powder, he can't touch us. So, Yeah, so he's going to knock off. Uh, that's going to do a decent amount, yeah. But now we're going to roost and he won't be able to hit us as hard with knockoff. Uh, this does give him a little bit more momentum because he can switch here. But we're just going to get our health back. And he is going to bring out the Heliolisk. Yeah. Like I said, I could definitely understand why he would bring out Heliolisk. But, like I said, I do have some hazards up. So I'm definitely okay with him switching like this. Alright, so now, my switch into Heliolisk is what? I did bring the Assault Vest Conkledur for Heliolisk. Mainly. We can't take its moves extremely well. I mean, this is Life Orb. Yeah, we're, we're going to go out into Veins for days. Especially if he goes for, like, Dark, Dark Pulse or something. If he goes for Volt Switch, it'll do a decent amount. Um, that would probably be his best play. Granted, I don't know if Volt Switch actually knocks me out. Oh, it disconnected. Oh, that really sucks. Alright, well... We will be back and attempt to uh, recreate this battle. Alright guys, so we're back. It took a bit. Uh, just because there were some things that we ended up like misclicking and stuff. Um, I gotta get my head in the right spot again. So I was gonna go conk here. Um, also, I definitely, um, after having time to think about it, I definitely want to assume that his last move is... Uh, um, Psy Shock or some form of Psychic move on Gardevoir because he went out into that on my Conkledur and he only has one potential attacking move. Um, so I'm assuming that's what it is, unless it's like Moonblast. Uh, so potentially one of those two. Uh, but I do like the damage. So I'm gonna go for Veins for days. Um, he does have a good opportunity to go for Volt Switch here. So we'll see, uh, what's gonna happen. Because I could definitely take hits well. Uh, Volt Switch will put him at a better position. Especially because he could start to wear me down after a bit. Um, but I do knock him out with Mach Punch if he doesn't Volt Switch. And I think I will just go for that. Just to be able to hit him. So we're going to go Veins for days. We'll see what he wants to do right here. He actually goes for the Surf. So that's okay. Um, I don't know what he was expecting there. But... Alright, what does he have for the rest of his team? Also, I don't think we saw Life Orb. Um, but I don't really want to mess around with this thing. You know what? I might actually go for a Fire Punch. Or, no, I'm going to go for a uh, Poison Jab. Possibly. 
Or should I drain punch? Let me see. Let me see the damage. Poison Jab doesn't knock him out, and I don't want him to switch up moves. Actually, no, I'm gonna go Mach Punch just because I don't want him to get any more damage off on me. Um, I, I shouldn't have done that. He's just gonna go Tangrowth. That's why I wanted to go for Poison Jab. Um, we'll see how much he takes here. We already know he's defensive just because he has Rocky Helmet. How much can I actually do to Tangrowth? Because I should be able to... Oh, I'm sorry, my sound was still on. Okay. Uh, based off that damage, we definitely knock him out. Um, and we do outspeed him if he has no speed. However, if he is offensive and does have speed, he actually has a good chance to knock us out with Leaf Storm. But he, I really feel like he's defensive. And I actually want to see if I could go for Drain Punch here. I really don't want to risk it, actually. Um, I'm just going to go for the Poison Jab. Actually, I'm going to go Fire Punch because I haven't revealed Poison Jab yet. Um, so I'm going to go for that for now. And he actually withdraws. And he does go into Gardevoir. I don't think I don't think this will kill though, or put him in range, should I say, of poison jab. Uh, let's see though, because we will be faster than this thing. Let's see that damage. Oh, that's definitely in range of poison jab. That is definitely in range of poison jab. Oh yeah. All right, we're going for that now. So we're going to take out this Gardevoir, and that's one less Pokemon to worry about. And I'm definitely saving Conkeldurr because it can uh, one-shot Greninja and Helolisk later on in the game. And I actually want to see... I'm thinking his Mamoswine might be Scarfed, which he actually does bring it in now, but it won't matter. Oh. Oh no! Oh my gosh, no! What? Damn it! Damn it! My game card came out of the... Wow, this battle is just like... Forever cursed. Oh my gosh. That was actually my fault. Oh my gosh, that was so stupid. I tilted my DS and the game card came out. All right guys, so we're back and it's morning and the next day now. Um, I don't remember what I was gonna do here. Basically, I accidentally popped my game cartridge out. There's just so much going wrong, but don't have time because we're running the clock. So everything's caught up. We redid the whole battle all over again. Um, so he's Mamoswine here, and I was just gonna switch straight into uh, Vaporeon because I want to see what kind of set he is, and I'm definitely saving Conkleter because it one-shots Greninja and Heliolisk afterwards, and actually does a decent amount to Mamoswine, but can't knock it out just yet with Mach Punch. So he's gonna go for the Earthquake here, and we will get to see what kind of uh, what kind of set he is. I did a decent amount, and he's not Life Orb. I actually want to check. Let's see if I can tell what kind of set he is. Because... Without a light... Okay, so he's not like Choice. Well, he's not, uh... Choice Banded. So he might actually be Scarf. Um, if he is Scarf, he's definitely going to switch into the, uh, Heliolisk here. Hmm. I don't want to switch into anything just yet. I actually might go Wolfgar. I don't want to speed Heliolisk, though. Well, I mean, I do, but... Hold on. 
Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to check. Oh. Sorry about that. My phone. Uh, Earthquake does a lot, actually, if I go out into Conkledur. I do think he's Scarfed. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go Wolfgar here. Oh, and my game volume is up. Sorry about that, guys. I was listening to it while we were getting caught up. He actually goes into Tangrowth here. Um, so I didn't expect that. But it does make sense. Um, I don't think he knows, though, yet that my Conkholder should outspeed him. Outspeed his Tangrowth anyways. Um, so let's see what kind of damage we're looking at here. We know he's not Assault Vest. He might actually be defensive, and in that case, I want to see how much HP Fire can actually do to him. Uh, Psychic actually still does more, just because of being a Mega Alkazam and whatnot. But I'm actually considering... I actually want to go for Sub this turn, just to kind of scout. Because that is why I brought Sub on this, so that way if he does try and Sleep Powder me, he wastes a turn going for Sleep Powder. Or if he wants to Leech Seed or something. Um, we already know he has knockoff, so he could very well hit us with that. Um, but if he does, I might still just stay in and go for Psychic. So he actually goes for a Stun Spore, but with the sub up, we are just fine. So now we can hit him with the Psychic, um, potentially knocking him out. Yeah, I'm going to go Psychic because it doesn't even matter if he goes Greninja, because we outspeed that. So he does decide to bring in Greninja, but that doesn't matter because we will outspeed him and knock him out with the Dazzling Gleam. Um, I actually want to see... Actually, I don't think Dazzling Gleam knocks him out, but we are still faster. So I am just going to click, uh, click Dazzling Gleam. Because even if he wants to keep switching around, it's just bringing in more Pokemon, you know? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He shouldn't have outsped us. He's Scarf Greninja? Okay. I mean, that doesn't really matter because we're, um... And he's... I think he's Scarf Mammoth Swine, too. But he's gonna take a lot from this. I do think he's Scarf Mammoth Swine. I don't know if I want to go Vaporeon, though. Because Vaporeon got kind of weakened. Granted, it doesn't matter now, because I don't really need Vaporeon anymore. All it does is get in the way of Heliolisk. Yeah, I'm going to go out into Vaporeon here. Because if he locks himself into an Ice move, I can heal on that. And if he locks himself into Earthquake and kills me, then I can just take him out with, uh, with Conkleder. I can Revenge kill him. An Earthquake would be the best play. Uh, he actually goes for Ice Shot. I'm pretty sure he's Scarfed. Because we didn't see an item. And he didn't do enough damage to be banded. Unless he was Focus Sashed or something. Um, but I think I do want to wish here. I might lose a little. Okay, so he's not locked into anything. Um, I don't think that'll knock me out. Yeah. So we're going to wish here. Um... So he's not Choice Scarf Mammoth Swine, he is Choice Scarf Greninja, for sure. Um, but at this point, he can't really switch out either. Uh, just because if he does... Yeah, and I'm gonna go for Protect here. Because if he does switch out, I'm pretty sure Mammoth Swine dies to hazards next time it comes in. So Mammoth Swine is essentially taken care of. So we're gonna get our HP back here. Um, and then... I don't know if I want to Ice Beam. I don't know how much Ice Beam does, just because he is thick fat. I feel like it should be able to do enough to pick him off from that range, though. Yeah, 15 to 17 percent. So yeah, we're definitely going for an Ice Beam. I didn't expect that he would have a reason to switch out, but just to be safe, I didn't want to give Heliolisk a free switching, because he could always just take that as an opportunity to stack this. And Ice Beam actually doesn't knock him out. So he's Ice Shard, Earthquake, Rock Slide, and Knock Off. And I don't know what item he was. Um, but I am going to Ice Beam again. Just because I, I really don't need Vaporeon after this point. So. 
And he actually does manage to flinch us. So that's a little unfortunate. Um, I think I am just going to protect here. Because he, I'm pretty sure he can knock me out with Earthquake at this range. Um, but I don't want to let him do that. And I'm just going to go for Wish. Because granted, I don't need um, Vaporeon. I do still want to be able to beat his uh, Mammoth Swine with this. So he's going to go for the knockoff here. Uh, get rid of my leftovers. So that was a good play right there. Um, honestly though, I'll probably just sack Vaporeon uh, for whatever comes in next. So he can knock me out here. I'm going to go for Protect. Because um, again, if he wants to switch out, I don't really lose anything from that. That just like weakens more of his Pokemon. Alright, so here I'm going to go for the Ice Beam. And now it'll knock him out for sure. I don't know if I guess he could have been uh, Focus Sash with like HP investment and all that stuff. Uh, but here I'm pretty sure he could definitely just revenge kill me with Heliolisk. Uh, I also don't know what item he is. But Mammoth Swine is down, so it's Tangrowth, Greninja, and Heliolisk. Um, which Greninja and Heliolisk die to a Mach Punch. And he actually decides to go Greninja here. Which is a little interesting. Um, so I'm actually... I'm going to click Wish here. Just to kind of see if I can get it, if I can manage to get that off. Because otherwise, I mean, we know whatever he goes for, he's locked into it. So he's locked into Dark Pulse now. And that actually doesn't knock us out. But I don't know if I'll stay in here. Just because I know he's locked into that now. So... Um, I'm actually gonna go into Dig Dug. Because I'm pretty sure we could take a Dark Pulse. Life Orb. Choice Scarf. Yeah, and that's not even... That's not even Protein. So yeah, we can definitely take this, um... And he will be faster than us, but what this does, he's actually going to withdraw. Alright, I kind of like this. He's going to go Heliolus now. So, I think we win now, because his tank growth is pretty low. Um, like I said before, in the team builder, Earthquake does enough to basically one-shot Greninja. It'll one-shot Heliolus, and uh, it does decent damage to tank growth, and he's already somewhat weakened. So I'm definitely locking myself in Earthquake here. So good time to go. Uh, he probably assumed that I would go for Protect, which is like, you know, a good assumption. But now his Heliolisk is just going to go down. So a Pokemon that I was Electric weak to, not going to affect me now. Uh, he could definitely go Greninja and pick me off with like an Ice or Water move, but he does decide to go Tangrowth, and that's fine. This tank growth actually has a lot of HP, but I'm not really worried about it because at this point, um, tank growth won't be able to switch because he doesn't have Pokemon to switch into. Um, so I'm going to go into my counter. Sigilyph, what am I? I'm already status, so he can't paralyze me. My item is gone, so knockoff isn't going to do that much anymore. And I can actually paralyze him now. Which is definitely what I'm going for. Because this will help us deal with it. And if he wants to go Greninja, then we will outspeed it. But just the chance to paralyze him here is like perfect. And then we can start going for Air Slash and all that stuff too. So we paralyzed the Tangrowth right off the bat. Um, I don't know if I want a Cosmic Power or what. In case Greninja wants to come in, I think I'm going to Roost for now. Just to see what he wants to do. Um, actually, I probably should have Cosmic Powered. Because he does have Knock Off. And this will help us take it better. And we know his Greninja Scarfed, not um, Specs or anything. And we know he has Dark Pulse. 
We know Tang Growth has Stun Spore and Knock Off. So already that's doing a lot less. And I'm just doing this to play safer, just because he does still have a Pokemon to switch around into to heal Tangrowth. So I want to keep what am I as healthy as possible. And we do get the Roost on the Para. And I think I'm just going to set up one more Cosmic Power and then start attacking because even now um, it's getting to the point where Greninja can't really touch us. And we can stay in on a turn that he goes to attack us, paralyze him, and then roost against him from there. So I'm going to start going for air slashes here. We actually miss, but he gets paralyzed three turns in a row. Um, but unless he was going to crit me, I don't think it matters much. Also a crit, I don't think would kill me. <laughs> he gets paralyzed four turns in a row, and I miss air slash twice. So... Interesting uh, couple of turns there, but we're gonna hit him with the air slash now and Sigilyph doing a great job of playing its Togekiss-esque role in this battle Which is exactly why I brought it and I'm gonna go for air slash again if he wants to switch out and save it That's fine, but it looks like he's just gonna get rid of it and now um, We for sure just win with mock punch from Conkle so the team working out really well this week, doing exactly what we needed it to. Um, and I'm pretty sure Air Slash will just kill it from this range and we won't die unless he crits us or flinches us. Um, which, he won't flinch us because he went for Ice Beam. So we're just going to go hit him with the Air Slash and that is going to be a good game. Hey, hey, hey. not bad. I really enjoyed the team this week, like it just worked out really well, um, all the things that we had planned, even down to like, you know, Sigilyph being status uh, purposefully and not switching its status to anything and having T-Wave and having Conkledur with the Mach Punch and even doing things like making it so Conkledur and Crustle outsped Escavalier and Tangrowth. Um, it was just really cool. Like I feel, because a lot of the times when I team build, I feel like my prep is not the best. Um, and I'm afraid of so many things still, even after I spend all this time working on the team. But this week, it definitely, um, it definitely showed the team building and all that. So, good game to Paul. Uh, like I said, and like I always say, the description or the YouTube channel and the Twitter of the person that I'm battling will be in the description so you can see their side of the battle as well. And uh, we're 4 0 right now, so we're we're starting it off pretty strong. We still have a lot of battles to go, but it's it's looking good for now. And I'm really enjoying the team that I've been using so far. Um, I'm glad I got to bring certain things that I haven't brought yet, like Pangea. Um, but yeah, we're doing good this week. So once again, good game, Paul. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down below what you thought. Sorry that there were so many like breaks and like pauses in the battle just because it was like not meant to be this week. Um, so we had to work around a lot of stuff. But hopefully you enjoyed. And until then, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching. I'll see you guys in our week 5 battle of the WPA. Later guys.